When considering alternative fuels for your fleet, it's important to take a holistic view that includes fueling, service and maintenance, and the residual values of the vehicles. For basically any of the alternative fuels, um, it's really important to take a cradle-to-grave holistic approach. So uh, really understanding first, you know, what, what are the objectives that the fleet's trying to attain? You know, typically it's going to be reducing your TCO, your total cost of ownership, and reducing your carbon footprint. Um, but you know, once we have a specific idea of, of what their exact uh, measures and, and KPIs that they want to improve in, the next thing we do, like I said earlier, is understand their fleet's requirements and, and needs. So what are the things that the fleet needs to do to successfully fulfill that fleet's purpose and mission? Once we have those two pieces in the puzzle together, we could start conducting the research and analysis in terms of all the things you need to think about when you want to successfully incorporate these measures in a fleet. So that, this starts with you know, vehicle acquisition, understanding you know, what are the implications from uh, uh, an ROI standpoint in terms of you know, what, what kind of budget do you have? Can you afford um, the additional capital cost for these vehicles early on um, amidst the financial savings that you'll accrue during the operating cycle? Um, in addition to vehicle acquisition, you, you have to look at fueling. Where are you going to get your fueling? If you can't leverage and uh, take advantage of existing public fueling infrastructure, you have to think about potentially installing uh, additional fueling infra infrastructure on your own to fulfill your ne fleet's needs. Um, service and maintenance. Uh, a, a lot of these new technologies, uh, you know, even if you have the fueling in, in place, if you don't have the appropriate service and tech support for these vehicles once they're on the road, uh, you know, this whole project could be a failure. So understanding where your, your vehicles can get the, the service they need is just as important and, 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 and uh, another very valuable factor in this whole process. And then finally, the remarketing. You know, what, what kind of residual value can you see getting with these vehicles? Unfortunately, at this point in time, there, there's not a lot of data on what kind of residual value you can get, given that there's so few of these vehicles on the road. But you know, over time, uh, you know, this data will become a lot easier to attain and, and, and be a, a more significant component for understanding the full business case for these initiatives.